Good morning, everybody. Michelle is here on this Friday, August the 30th, 2024. What do you say? And I was, um, I didn't know it was Friday. You know, once you get into, you know, a happy and joyful mood and a happy and joyful disposition and a happy and joyful reality, you do forget about the time. I told you there's something about time anyway. But you you can't forget about what's really going on with that, and it's hard to keep up with what what the day is and and blah blah and what time it is and all that. Because I always have to look at look at my computer because I don't wear watches. I have to look at my computer or look at my microwave, you know, to know what time it is and blah blah blah. But I wanted to come on through and give some more um, information about being healed. You know that 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 process of being healed and I put out a few other videos you know about that about that process and um, you know how important it is to get healed the, the potential expectations when you are coming to a point of being properly healed forever okay so I'm talking about things that most people do not talk about it's always about healing and I rarely if ever hear people say I'm healed I've said it I, I because I am I'm healed and so I want to help people to get to that point because until you're healed you're not going to be introduced to new experiences new realities something that may bring you more prosperity joy enthusiasm because you keep regurgitating regurgitating that same those same experiences and you have combined it all into a ball so to speak and all it does is spin 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 and it goes nowhere in that ball you have all of your pain and suffering and damage and all that stuff that uh cause you to you know seek counseling which is important therapy talk to psychiatrists psychologists yes those things are important but at the same time I as I've said and I'm just being very honest most people do not know what it means to be healed and that's especially the psychiatrists psychologists the therapists the guides you know because they believe that because that they help you more if they're still bleeding and now you see think about that literally figuratively and metaphorically that's insanity <laughs> okay some people believe that if they stay in their in their shit quote unquote their damage their injuries their pain and they're bleeding all over the place they're more suited to help you Okay, think about that, and you know how that's illogical. Okay, fine, and that's that's something gentle. You can, you know, a gentle uh, conversation you can have with yourself. You can have it with your therapist and your psychiatrist and your psychologist, but it has to be, you know, it has to be, you know, handled with care when you're going through all of this. It has to be handled with care. Okay. So today I just wanted to talk about how, you know, and none of this is easy, okay? None of this is pretty. You're not going to be pretty all the time. Uh, you know, you're going to go through stages of, of, uh, of, of uh, you know, what you look like. Some days you're going to be tired looking. Some days you won't. Some days you're going to be looking drained. Even though you're healed, you're going to still have those type of uh realities because because people pay so much attention to the exterior anyway you know like you're supposed to be pretty all the time which i'm not no beauty queen <laughs> you know they want you to be pretty all the time they want you to have you know be made up you know and 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 you know give me a break give me a break i would i when i do these videos chances are in most cases once i've done the basic stuff i usually do when i get out of bed Okay, here here I am facing each other. Okay, here I am. All right? So sometimes yeah, you you look on old videos, you see all kind of shit all over my face. Stuff dripping out of my nose, 
you know, all that kind of stuff. Okay, it's not pretty. Okay, but I am joyful and happy than, than I've ever imagined I would be. Okay? So, I want to talk about uh, what also can possibly happen to you once you are approaching that healed, once you're approaching that mountain, whatever you want to call it, that, you know, once you're approaching, you know, I mean, a, a certain path of your life, and as, as a matter of fact, as you're going on a path, because that's what we're all doing, you're going to be, like I said, you're going to run into some obstacles sometimes, you're going to run into roadblocks, literally, figuratively, metaphorically, somebody's going to be in your way. And let me tell you the people that are going to be in your way. You know, if you've caused someone some harm, you know, I'm talking you the one that's approaching healing or, or being healed. If you've caused some harm to people in your behavior and actions, whether it was a substance abuse, whether it was a violent abuse, whatever you've caused people. And I'm not talking about the narcissistics right now, narcissistic, sociopath, psychopaths, okay? I'm excluding them for a reason, and I'll come back to that in a later date. I'm talking about an ordinary, genuine, bona fide human being. Now, chances are if you've had an addiction or this or that and the other, you've caused harm to people. But at the same time, you cause more harm to yourself because you're the one fi financially struggling. You can't find a job. You can't find a good, solid relationship and blah, 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 blah. Okay. What's going to happen is people are going to expect you to apologize to them. Okay. And let me explain something to you about that so you don't get yourself caught up again in that spin, in that sphere. Okay. If you recall, as you're coming to that healing point, see when I before I got to my healing point, and, and I'm like I said, I'm healed. Prior to that, years years before that, I started reaching out to people. See, I plan to heal, and that's something you need to think about as well. I plan to heal. A lot of people plan to succeed. A lot of people plan to have all this materialism. Well, I planned to be healed and and that and that and that will be it that will cover it all for me and i'll explain that at a later date as well before i healed i reached out to people and this was years years ago years ago uh because i was remembering things and and i felt like okay i need to go talk to this person and, and find out what happened between us and if they remember what I remember, and let's resolve it. In other words, I reached out to people, not the narcissistics, okay, the psychopaths, and not them, but just the ordinary, genuine, bona fide human being that I was involved with. I reached out to them and attempted to make things right, to make to resolve anything that I could in the in relationship to what I may have done to them. So. I met up with them. We had dinner together. We talked. I remember one person I had dinner with. We were in that restaurant for almost five hours, I think. Three to five hours. You know, just talking. Because once we healed, and that took, you know, we healed our relationship. We started talking about other stuff. And see, and that's what happens when you don't heal. You miss out on other opportunities with people. You miss out on other opportunities with life. Okay, so so in other words, once that once I healed, we healed our relationship, which took no time. We were talking about everything else, catching up. So in other words, if you don't heal, and you know if you don't apologize to people, if you know you've hurt them, you know you've manipulated, stole from them, you know that. Be kind and gentle with yourself. If you have a psychiatrist, a therapist, or somebody let them or a guide let them guide you to how to properly approach that situation so my point is you don't want to go around 
begging people to accept your apology. Okay? First of all, apologize to yourself. Okay? You cause more damage to yourself, chances are, than anybody else. Because usually what happens is you get family members or friends, blah, 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 or whoever. And it usually has something to do financially. You know, like your mama will give you $20 when they know you're not going to the grocery store to pick up some diapers. I remember that happened back in the day. We all, everybody in the family, well, anyway, we all knew that there was a problem. Okay? But we kept, but but a lot of us keep, continue to feed it. You keep feeding, you keep feeding it, you keep feeding. And then you're wondering why this person doesn't heal. So you feel so, you feel so important, right? Because, you know, you gave that person $20. Well, you know, you possibly should not have. But you did. And then you had all these expectations. I'm saying people have an expectation on, on victims. Yes, you are a victim of a victim. Okay, but be 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 mindful of that and be and ask yourself, why did you give that person twenty dollars when you knew where that where that person was going with the twenty dollars? You know that kind of thing. It, it it's not easy. And so if you expect easiness, then you know you're just gonna be deluded and and just spinning anyway. Because you're in a delusion. So, when it comes to apologies, be very mindful of pol apologies. Because apologies can, pe that's when people can be dragging you back. The people, you know, I helped you when you, you know, they, they say all this kind of stuff. You know, I, I, I bailed you out of jail and, and lot, you know, they put all that pressure on you. Okay, and then they, and they, then they expect you to apologize to them. I say, you don't. I say, I say, stop, stop, and ask yourself, okay, what am I apologizing for? You don't have to say that to them, but just with yourself or a therapist or a guy, what am I apologizing for? Because I fucked up. Be very. That's a that that's a moment right there. And that's where, like I said, psychiatrists and psychologists, therapists, and guys need to keep that in mind. You know, telling people to go around and apologizing for their behavior and action. I say, I say, be very, very, very cautious of that. And make sure you're conscious enough to understand what that means. The only person you owe an apology to is yourself. Okay? Until you apologize to yourself, everybody else is irrelevant. And I mean that. And if they love you, they'll understand that. And that's how you know, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you know if someone loves you or not. Okay, it's their behaviors and actions. And in most cases, if somebody loves you, they are not going to expect too much from you when they know you're, when, when, you, when they know you're, you know, injured is, you know, it's, it, and this it's a literal thing. If someone has a broken arm, are you going to expect them to shake your hand, you know, when their arm is just, you know, come on now. Let's just, let's just be thinking clearly and effectively about what we are expecting from ourselves and people. So, again, if you can remember exactly what you've what you've done to harm people, decide on your own if you wanted to address it. You don't have to. You don't have to. If you cannot apologize to yourself, that's more of a problem than worrying about if you apologize to other people. Like I said, who willfully gave you $20 or willfully loaned you their vehicle and blah blah you know all this other stuff that we do that that and a lot of people used to call it codependency back in the day you see how words evolve that's why you need to know what you are saying to yourself so again when you're coming to that point of healed if you feel comfortable enough and you want to address certain things that you may have caused harm to others or you just want clarification that and that's basically what i want i don't want to know okay why did we break up like that you know, it wasn't a, it wasn't, it, it's just, why did we break up? And it wasn't anything, 
traumatic and you know a lot and not as much drama than most relationships have <laughs> whether it's a a love relationship or a friend relationship you know sometimes you know <laughs> we're causing our own drama but the main thing is to apologize to yourself you owe yourself an apology and, and gently say to yourself you know I apologize to myself and no one has to know Okay, I'll talk more about these things in deep, in deepness, more deep uh, realm, but like I said, proper setting, proper environment. These are just something for entertainment purposes only. You need to make sure that's said because people, you know, coming after you, especially when I say psychiatrists and psychologists, they're the first ones that want to come after you and come after people that are doing other, other creative uh things to help people you know they get these psychiatrists and psychologists that come in and they know who they are because they're benefiting off of your pain that's why okay they like you to stay in the spin and take that medication and blah 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 and, and you know hey okay so again a lot of people are going to have to if they want to heal people are supposedly healing other people if you want to heal you need to apologize to people because that, that's obvious what you're doing. You know you're being deceptive deceptive and manipulative and having people take this medication or having people believe that they have to keep healing and healing and healing and healing. Some of you know you're involved in fraud and manipulation. And I'm talking about those in the professional fields. Okay? How, how does that sound for an apology? You know, you're dealing with people with fragile fragile. Uh, realities and they're just they're doing everything in their power to put it back together but some of you professionals like it like to keep it apart you know so you can have some have a way to pay your bills and you know and milk people for for everything they have okay dare I said it again Apology, you know, for for those of you like myself and others that are genuinely wanting to help people. And yes, there's some psychiatrists and psychiatry, uh, psych, you know, they, there are professionals out there that genuinely want to help. But there's a lot of them that do not. What they want to help is their pocketbook, their wallets, their bank accounts. Okay, pay attention. Be mindful. Be aware. Contact me. You know, I'll I'll guide you through there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. And trust me, I will be back.